What's up, y'all? What's going on? It's Jay. So, basically, the topic for today is <clears throat> I know it's a lot of parents. They um, they'll post something like something really expensive they bought their kids. You know, shoes or um, clothes, like an iPad or whatever. Something really expensive. And then they do. They always post like underneath. I do this for my kids. I do this for my kids. You know, this is what I work for. And it's, it cracked me up because it's always expensive items. It ain't nothing like nothing normal. You know what I mean? And like, you know what I mean? Like, I seen one one chick on, um, I think it was Facebook or Instagram. She got her her kid uh, some limited edition Jordans or something. And they were like $180 or something. And I seen somebody else like around school time. They got, uh, Two pair of shoes for they two kids is fifty hundred dollars, and I'm just like tripping because that, that ain't happening over here. That, I'm not spending that kind of money on my kids. Like when it comes to luxury items, like if I spend one hundred eighty dollars on some shoes, I probably would never do that for myself or my kids. But if I were to do that, it would be for me. Because, and the reason why is because anybody who knows me knows if I get some nice shoes or new shoes, I don't care if they cost ten dollars. I'm taking care of them joints and I'm gonna keep them. I got shoes from like '06 that still look hot. You know what I mean? Still like look like they they still straight. My kids got some shoes from August that look like they've been ran through. You never want to spend that kind of money on on kid shoes, like for real. Uh, luxury items, I come first. Like I know, you know, some of your parents are gonna be like, "Oh man, you tripping?" Man, I work hard, and I know how to appreciate the stuff I work hard for. So if I spend five hundred on a new iPad or three four hundred on a new phone, if I decide to spend that much money on some shoes, I know I'm gonna appreciate that. My kid don't appreciate nothing. They're good kids, but they're kids. My one child got done with my iPad, was using my iPad, it went dead. She, she threw it on the floor. So I do this for my kids as far as putting food and clothing in shelter for them. But as far as spending a ton of money on some stuff that they're going to outgrow in a couple months or it's going to be too small for them in a couple months, nah, I don't do that for them. Not at all. You ain't got to agree with me. I don't care. I'm just telling you how I feel. I'm just saying, man. Plus, these shoes is ridiculous. Like, I lost a bet because I said LeBron wasn't coming back to Cleveland. I said I'd buy a LeBron jersey and some LeBron shoes. I didn't know these shoes cost that much. Like, his shoes cost more than Jordan's. Did you? His shoes cost like 200 bucks. Like, I think there's like... There's, he got some that cost around 150 160 but then he got some that cost like two two ten. Like that's they got me tripping. I found some on sale <laughs> for like a hundred. <laughs> if they still there when I got the funds, I'm gonna get them. But uh as far as my kids, when they get money, when they start working, they wanna spend that much money. I'm not going to recommend it to them. I'm not going to say you should do that. If that, But if that's what they want to spend their money on, they can go ahead and do that. I, my first, I was 12 when I got my first pair of Jordans, and I bought them my own money. 149 something dollars. And it felt real cool to have them Jordans for like a week. Because everybody at school, Piper Middle School, would sweat me for a week because I had I was like the first person there that had them. I got them when they first came out. I forget what numbers they are. I don't know the numbers. I, I can tell you what they look like. I don't know the number Jordans they were. But after that week was up, I felt like, damn, I could have bought a couple pairs of shoes, name brand shoes for that much money. I could have got two or three pairs of shoes. And I got this one pair. And then I had to be all careful with them because I didn't want to get them messed up and... 
I, at the age of 12, and I was working. I worked and got that money. I was working at the Sheratora Jewish Synagogue washing dishes, and I was doing um, landscaping with my dad. He did it like a landscaping business. But at 12, I was like, I ain't doing this no more. I'm not spending this kind of money. And I didn't spend that much money on shoes again until like 1920. Got the uh, Iversons, the, the questions. No, I didn't mean, answer. I don't remember. But that's my point for today on this topic, whatever. I just find it ridiculous. It is what it is. All right, I'll let you. Peace.